Internet. So if you go to library thing uh, on Google and you find Italian Cultural Center, uh, you can uh, browse through and search for uh, the materials that we have in our library. Uh, our library consists of uh, books in Italian and, uh, uh, and in English uh, about, and they mainly concern uh, several topics. One is it's a large collection of art, big uh, format art books, beautiful, luscious art books uh, that uh, uh, are dedicated to Italian art, architecture, uh, and, uh, and sculpture. And so if you ever need uh, uh, materials on that subject that you can't find on the internet, uh, or that you'd rather page through, uh, come here. We don't circulate books uh, or, uh, uh, normally, but we do uh, uh, encourage you to, to come and visit us. We're here, uh, the whole, whole staff is here on Mondays, uh, Monday afternoons and, and until 6 o'clock, and uh, Father Fetcha is always here, the staff is always here during uh, normal business hours, so you can take a look at our collection. Uh, one of the important things that we do is to preserve the history of Italians in Chicago. Now, uh, Italians in Chicago uh, have not been documented uh, as well as uh, other historical things. When you think about history, what do you think of? A lot of people think of biography, uh, great figures, the king of this and the president of that, the prime minister, the general, etc. Well, uh, especially with immigrant groups, you don't have a lot of those. Uh, and you don't have a lot of people preserving their letters uh, like George Washington or uh, Thomas Jefferson, etc. So uh, it's, it's hard. It's harder to find information uh, to talk about their history. And what is their history? Well, it could be everyday life. And uh, a lot of times people don't think that's history, but indeed it is. Uh, the, the lives of ordinary people and how they earn their living and uh, how they organize their families or put together their schools and churches. Uh, this is really the fabric uh, of social history. And so we focus on that. And you know, that history is in danger of being lost. Um, and we're here to preserve it. And it's at risk of, of being lost completely as we move forward. Uh, the Italians, when they first came here, lived in Italian uh, communities, Little Italy's. Uh, there were a dozen of them around the city. But uh, times have changed. People have moved out of Little Italy's. They're in the suburbs. Uh, uh, they're intermixed. Italian uh, Americans are marrying uh, non-Italian Americans. And so that sense of identity uh, is being lost. And we're in danger of losing that, the story of uh, how many of you are Italian American? Okay. Uh, we're, uh, uh, this could be true for any ethnic group. We are in danger of losing the memory of the, our ancestors, of what they did, how they came to this country with uh, nothing, and they built themselves up through hard work and all those other stories. Uh, we're in danger of losing that. We're in danger of losing our uh, sense of attachment to Italy. Like, uh, you know, if I asked you, where in Italy did your family come from if you're an Italian-American? Uh, and if you don't have a, a very good idea, well, the thread is, has, is being broken. And, and it's, uh, it's got to be repaired or it's got to be established and remembered. Uh, uh, why? Uh, why? Well, why his, any history? Why do we study the past? Why do we even think about the past? Well, it's like your own personal memory. If you were to lose every memory of what you've ever done or what you've ever learned, how could you function uh, in uh, tomorrow? So history is society's memory, and uh, uh, we use it uh, hopefully to find uh, uh, some experiences out of the past that uh, we want to keep doing and some experiences out of the past that we want to stop doing. But, uh, 
But other people say the one thing you learn from history is that nobody learns from history. So. Uh, <laughs> be that as it may. In, in any case, in this room, we have, uh, we're reconstructing Italian-American history. Along the uh, uh, top shelf there are uh, newspapers. Newspapers from the 19, from 1960 to the present. That is the whole Franoi, the Italian-American monthly newspaper uh, that talks about all the different